In these videos about love, I've always ended up by saying that love isn't this, or love isn't that, or it's all more complicated. That's because love is biopsychosocial. It's partly biology, what happens to our bodies and brains when we love someone, those micro moments. It's partly psychological, how we feel about love, what we want love for, or to do for us. And it's partly sociological, the expectation that we all have to love someone of a different gender to us, the happily ever after, we all need someone, that it's all about romantic love. When we love, all these things fit together, but also overlap and change because of each other. Love can be so complex and confusing, it's really tempting to simplify things by believing in what they tell us in rom-coms or in song lyrics, or to wait for the random bolt of lightning or force field of energy, or to wait for the one who will make all this really easy and simple. But then believing in these things is not helpful and can make love and relationships harder, not easier. We all find this stuff out for ourselves, even sex educators, and it doesn't get any easier. But here's my advice on how to understand love for you. Try not to compare yourself to other people's stories and instead write your own. Be the lead character in your own stories about love and romance and accept there are going to be ups and downs as well as lots of stuff in the middle which might not be that interesting or dramatic. I know I'm such a romantic. Think about what you might need in life. Hugs, support, security, safety, money, comfort, sex. Which of these might a romantic partner provide? Which do you get from friends, family, colleagues? Which do you get for yourself? Think about your qualities, your best bits and the bits you want to work on. Then think about who you might be attracted to. Someone a bit like you or someone a bit more different. Think about how you want to react to those micro moments of connection when they happen and what they might mean for you. Are they love? Is it flirting? If you have a few of those moments in a row, you might end up in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, it can be lovely to hear someone say that they love you, but maybe pay more attention to what you think is important in a healthy relationship. There are some ideas about this here. Remember that love isn't just about what people say, but what people do too. Some people use the word love to make someone do something they don't want to, like, if you love me, you do this, or to cover up for the fact that the relationship isn't going very well. Lastly, as you're writing your own script, remember that it's always changing. As you experience fancying, liking, loving more, you'll learn more about yourself and what you want. Try to learn all the time and remember that it's always going to be complicated.